this is a, like a miracle. <laughs> 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 they rehearsed this for eight years. How did they, pull this off? they started shooting this in Extraction One. Citizens of the Reject Nation, we're gonna watch Extraction Two today, joined by Koi Jandra. Koi, how you feeling? I love Extraction One so much, and I've been waiting for this for so many years too. Haven't even seen the trailers for it. I this, haven't either. But I hear there's a really long oneer in this. Ladies and gentlemen, extract that like button. Do it right now. And as always, full length reaction. Watch along where you sync up with your own copy of Extraction Two, available for super sexy rejects at our Patreon page. Cover so much stuff exclusively over there with reaction highlights and watch along included. Cool, you excited to jump into this? Sam Hartgrave is one of my favorite new directors and Chris Hemsworth is Chris Hemsworth, so I am so ready. Okay. <laughs> Somehow it being Chris Hemsworth makes me think he could actually survive that. Because it's oh, Chris yeah. Hemsworth. Yeah. He's not Jeremy Renner. Come on. <laughs> I take uh, yearly trips to Dubai. Oh, yeah. On my first class plane. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just to check in. Just check in. Weekend trip. I like that. Extraction? <laughs> it's the French film. <laughs> I actually like that we're getting this. We could have just John Wicked it. Yeah, no, I like Play. the... He's a human. <laughs> Let him be. He had to recover and work his way through there, through resilience. Looks genuinely painful. Thanks, Nick, for keeping me around. Really excited about this next chapter of my life. <laughs> no, it's pretty difficult to let someone you care about die. Oh, he knows the feeling. But you fought your way back. You just have to find out why. To kill more people. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm made to do. This is like Shaw. <laughs> it's a Fast and Furious films, guys. Family. Oh, homie. Oh, he's the Reaper. <laughs> My man, looking good. Look at this. It's with the shirt. I lose a bet or something. Don't you like it? No. <laughs> you bring my chickens. We ate them. What about my dog? Oh, we ate her too. <laughs> I'm joking. She's in the house. So what am I supposed to do now? Eat your dog. <laughs> I like how these movies do these action hero tropes. Like, this could have been the start of the first movie. You know, those, like, yeah. 80s action movies where they're like, I'm retired. <laughs> I've yeah. gone through it, and I'm recovering. You don't even know why. Yeah. <laughs> Must be the absolute worst losing a kid. Cannot imagine. I just registered that he's staying at a cabin in the woods. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> it's all come full circle, Hemsworth. He's <laughs> <laughs> gonna become Fathor. I just love that he loves chickens. Like what a great character thing. <laughs> This person is not good. <laughs> the fact that they locked up his whole family for him is like such villainy. Yeah. It's like being buried with someone. Extraction three. 60 year old Hemsworth takes on this kid. Yeah. <laughs> This is beautiful. Amazing. Did not know. <laughs> <laughs> huh. 
Heimdall? I'm so happy. Hop in your car and fuck off. It's not very nice, is it? <laughs> Mutual friend who's offered you a job. I don't have any friends. Yeah, well, this particular individual seems to think you're the only one that can do it. Yes. I'm not so convinced. Can you even pull the trigger like that? <laughs> well, that's why you haven't got any friends. <laughs> Would you go back and tell them who sent you? I'm not interested. What if it was your ex-wife? Mia. Was it? Or is it just a hypothetical? <laughs> I mean, is it just asking? Just curious? But her sister is. She's currently in a Georgian prison with her two kids. Her husband's locked her in there. Can you imagine that? Call themselves the Nagazi. If it wasn't for the Americans, David would be free. I love movies like this. I'd want to get in there nice and quiet, keep my head down. Ken, you can rest assured that his brother's going to want to throw everything at you when I'm talking about the whole Nagazi army. Oh, this is going to be good. I was so excited. This is going to be good. <laughs> Job starts in six weeks, we take our cut. If all goes well, you don't get caught or shot in the face, I'll meet you on the other side and give you a kiss. <laughs> I hope he gets action scenes. I can only see him as Luther when he has a popped collar. Like, I just <laughs> saw Luther recruit Thor. Job coming. Why did they come to you? Haven't you heard, Nick? I'm a bit of a legend now. <laughs> I tell you what the job is and when and how you do it. Yeah, you also told me to find the reason I fought my way back. Let's find out. Specific children rescue missions. <laughs> it's what I do. <laughs> yeah. I love an implausible plot, underdog, evil villainy. I like, it's all the things I want. Training montage. Yeah, Rocky IV style. It's happening. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Draco! The show <laughs> Limitless on Disney+. Plus. Wow, that arm cast was really holding him back. Really was. That goes. <laughs> this is all the last two hours. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't need six weeks. One minute to target. We should be able to tell when we're in our one right? Oh, there's no way we won't. I assume it's going to be a prison one -er. Okay. Because I think they're going to find him. And then the whole way out, one. <laughs> I'm ready, Coy. It's happening. I'm ready. Ready for him to kill a bunch of prisoners. <laughs> we just learned they were bad. Did some push-ups, cut up some logs. Threw an axe. He's ready to go. <laughs> Muscle memory. <laughs> this rock's over there now. I'm ready. <laughs> badass. He is so badass. He is so cool. Yeah, he's so badass. <sighs> Uh oh. Where does his son's loyalties lie? Stay close. Oh. <laughs> Smart mom. Package in hand on the move. Good. Call me. Yikes! <laughs> Sorry, kid. <laughs> Rise from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're in the one -er. Is this it? I think so. I feel it. I think so. You're right. <laughs> Let's go water. <laughs> My water sense was tingling. Ah, that was early. <laughs> it's an early from water. Whistle. That's an early water. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Hit and cut. I saw it. <laughs> Unprofessional. Stay back. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that sound design is oh, that was sick. The crescendo. Yeah, yeah. This is so exciting. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just kill everyone. <laughs> I, at this point... Good boy. I'm kind of worried the mom's going to die. Yeah, she's pretty great, and that worries me. Yeah. No! Oh! Oh, oh it's like the worst part of a video game. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh! Kill him. Ouch. Oh. Ouch. God, this feels so painful. Burn his oh. face! <laughs> ah! <laughs> 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 yes. Yes. I hate this split thingy. It's this really split painful. Thingy. It's so growth. Oh, not oh, a fan. Gah. Not a fan. Ooh what happened down there? Trouble. Where's my father? Come on, come on. Get it. Go. Oh. He's fine. He's waiting for you outside. He's waiting for you. <laughs> I don't know how they did that lift so smooth. It's cool how we're look like going around to different players. Yeah, cause holy shit! Holy shit! We're doing a full-on prison riot. This is crazy. Any route to Charlie that isn't through the common yard? Negative, negative. That's right. There must be another way. Stay close to me, right? Keep swinging that. I'm on nobody's side. Everyone die. <laughs> Oh, dude, she's the, the greatest video game partner. <laughs> <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Just start spraying. <laughs> God damn. What impressive ass choreography. <laughs> Two person video game fight. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! God, he's awesome. God damn. Oh! Oh! Beautiful. Oh, so impressive. This is still the same shot. Ouch. Man, the oh, claustrophobia. The... Yeah. Man, yeah. Oh, this is so impressive. God damn it. Ouch. Oh. Whoa, how did they transition into this shot? Because it's locked on his stomach. What? They like how must did have they run do it that? And lo did it lock <laughs> off? <laughs> and then oh, unlock it, and then they what? unlock it. <laughs> how do they do that? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Guys, he's in a police that was shield. Oh, oh my god. Oh. We've added fire. He's on fire. He's <laughs> now this stunt has fire. <laughs> He's using a flaming fist. <laughs> How do you choreograph fire in a water? <laughs> oh, God. He's going. <laughs> oh. oh, wait. Oh. 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 Dude. Oh. Oh. I have so much adrenaline. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, you guys are doing great. Wow. Oh, 
the way they transition these locked off shots is like blowing my mind. It is <laughs> so astounding. Like, what? How do you leave it? <laughs> I love the tension of this kid that's going to betray us. I know. Eyes up. Threat coming from the front. Those are Zurab's men. Oh, love it. Just like a video game. We're in the car now. How? I know. Got you. Got it. Can't get rid of these guys. Already on it. I mean, how did they just do that? These, these like hidden cuts are phenomenal. Like I can't see them. Damn it! Oh, look I've seen maybe two. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! I love it. I'm so happy right now. I've got goosebumps. They keep going down and coming back up. Back up. Don't let them between us. Nagasi are here. Soldiers. These men are killers. Yeah, so am I. There we go. This guy should have directed the Uncharted movie. Oh, man. Damn. Keep those lights off me. This is nuts. It doesn't even look like drones. Like, it's like string <laughs> yeah. camera work. Like, how did we just do that shot? Uh, the glass can only hold for so long. Oh, yeah. There's such great CGI in this. It it's blends that old school, so well. like Fincher thing going through windows, doing it so well. Yeah. Yeah. It blends perfectly. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, so badass. Girls hurt. We gotta move. Oh. The girls hurt? Yeah. It's it's your new family, Tyler. <laughs> he found him. <laughs> now it's a foot chase. We've got so much. Yeah, we've gone through so many different kinds of Every action. Every type scenes. of action has happened. Yeah. <laughs> he was punching people with fire not five minutes ago. Get these extras out of here. The infusion of extras makes this so much more oh, real. The depth, yeah, yeah, adding in the human element. Oh, there's so much foreground play to add tension. Now we're going on a train. Really? Every type How of automobile. How long is this? <laughs> the rest of the movie is a water. <laughs> this is a, like a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> they rehearsed this for eight years. How did they, pull this off? they started shooting this at Extraction One. <laughs> We've added helicopters, Greg. Love how you shot at the helicopters. <laughs> Just yeah. in case. I got a gun. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. He's going Stallone. First blood. Get it. Oh, oh my God. Yes. <laughs> what is this? Video game. <laughs> Sam Hargrave direct everything. Oh my god. Oh. What was that guy doing? <laughs> he, he was a good guy. What was he doing? <laughs> I think he, I think he got hit from down the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, lady, I forgot how hot you were. She okay. is awesome. Oh, man. Close combat knife gun fights. Oh. God. Her, her reaction to the pain feels so real. It's so much. And, and the... And the, ah. the location that 
We're going like 80 in a tiny room. It fell off the tr- Love how she went up. <laughs> this choreography is so inspiring. Just yeah, whoever shot this, like the physical DP. It's like a video game cutscene. Ah! No, no, not a title. Whoa. Legend. Uh. Oh, <laughs> great. Whew. Great. <sighs> little boy, uh, I don't swear to it. God, little boy. Don't trust him. Okay. Better than him. <laughs> Cover me. What are you gonna do? Is he gonna jump? Is he gonna jump? What a badass. Yes, secure the family. We got no brakes. Oh no, it's now speed on a train. Somehow this is gonna segue into a kaiju fight. Oh, it's over. It ended on a train rolling. <laughs> it's a good way to end it. Damn, how long was that? Like 85 minutes. I'm so tired. <laughs> that was so long. And it, it stayed engaging throughout. It had so much variety. Every type of action, a slow burn start to like have a little character moment. Man, that was a whole movie's worth of action. Yeah, let's turn it off. That's good. Uh, thanks. We don't, need to we watch don't know who this long. other brother's going to do. He's got nothing <laughs> yeah. to prove. There's no one coming in with him. <laughs> nah. Ah, done with him. <laughs> Oscar Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> the one that designs Ex Machina. Yeah. Oh, I love this guy. It's one of these 87 North guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. It was an extraction. Two. That scar is so cool. Like the idea that his face, like, oof. That's going to go down as one of the, uh, might be the greatest action scene sequence of the year. It was incredible. Bye. God, you got a new dad right there. And he's very handsome he's very and handsome strong. To Kick your biological dad's ass. Killed him. Did you kill him? Did you kill him? Just lie. You have no attachment to this kid. I helped. He was going to kill your mother, okay? It was him or her. Now he's got to watch his back like that. Should have said no. I would have just lied. Just lied. <laughs> Maybe he's a bad liar. I would have lied. <laughs> like, no one didn't see your dad. <laughs> he was dead when I found him. I tried to get him out. Yeah. <laughs> and she wonders. Oh, damn. Yeah. That's how. I need to go to the we touch down in 45 minutes. You have to break the cycle, little boy. That's what this is. Need anything? My dad. I'm hungry. Oh, don't do it. Don't give him a fork. Don't give him the phone. knife. Since when do you speak Georgian? <laughs> he was married to my sister. That's where the ex-wife thing came in. <laughs> yeah, it was Olga Karenka. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to tell you when we landed. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, your nephew's a punk. Don't trust him. Not really a nephew anymore. Step nephew, half nephew. We're almost there. Uh, you're almost free. I'm going to get you guys someplace safe, okay? I promise. This better lead to a great action scene. 
Or else I'm just gonna stay mad at you. I hate this kid. <laughs> so a bitch. Come on, little man. Break the cycle. Listen, I don't know what your sister must think of me, and there's nothing I can do to fix that. Just want you to know that I'm... It's the most awful thing a parent can endure, watching a child die. Or surpass you financially and not help you out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm still, like, reeling. Can you imagine if they put this in the theaters? <sighs> Netflix killing me. People would just be melted into their seats. Forty <laughs> X just punched your spine. I wouldn't have said no to this if it was important to you. It is. He's trying to get back in with his wife. This is the way. It's the long game. <laughs> Gotta start a small cold war. Get her back. <laughs> <laughs> the little one. You kept your kids from harm. Found a way with nothing. Alone. I mean, this movie's so cool looking. A good son is supposed Wait, to stay with his father. Good. A good father wouldn't make him. Yeah, well, at least my father didn't leave us. Does he know who Tyler really is? Seems like it. Seems like a very <laughs> pointed <laughs> jab. <laughs> <laughs> One little hoist, Chris. Push. <laughs> Save a kid, lose a kid. Still like save a kid. To, try to pat him on the back. And then you <laughs> pat him a little too hard. <laughs> Fell over. <laughs> your mom, she stayed. She stayed with your father for years to keep you safe. I'm not going to lie to you, mate. Shit's going to get harder from here, but you're going to have to take care of her. She's going to need you. So you can be there for her like she was for you. Or let your father's lies consume you. Father's lies are going to come knocking any second now. It's on you, mate. Tell him. Tell Tyler what you did. Give him a head start. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. No. He's coming. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. We gotta move. What's going on? They found us. Because of your son. Mm. Your son screwed up. He covered up for your his son. nephew you even left. after all. Oh, no, she knows. Okay. She knows. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, no. Now he has to know. How do they know what floor? I'm guessing they track the phone. Helicopter's like, let's get out of here. <laughs> He's, gonna go ahead come. He's gonna go. <laughs> he is known to shoot at helicopters. <laughs> as much jokes as we make, I actually I do get where the little boy is. Oh, yeah. sure. It's he, just... he grew up in it. Yeah, but man. Sure. Yeah. Most people who are complaining about us have not made it to the point where we oh. reveal that we understand. <laughs> Excuse us. Yeah. We get it as well. Yeah, but we do get it. Sandra! Sandra! Kid boys! I got him. Nick, stay in radio contact. Okay. But my understanding for the kid has a limit. Yeah. There's a line. He just got shot at. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, look at this big guy. Uh... Whoa, whoa! Get down, Nick, get the boy! Oof. Son of a bitch. Damn. Come in! Just an ankle. Let's go into the back alley. Hold it, Come back here, come back to your mother. Your mother did all of this to protect you, come back. We'll get you in here, we'll do it. I mean, you made it this far, kid. Might as well go with your uncle. Be evil. <laughs> Oh my god. Did they just kill her? I think they might have. How did she survive that? <laughs> oh. Looks like it'd be so fun to train for this movie. They must have been insane learning all these movements. Whoa. 
Ooh. Damn. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> that close up. <laughs> Clear to engage. Damn. He barely even took a second aim. He is very good at the missile launcher. Oh. He aimed that helicopter at Chris Hemsworth. Man, even the bad guys are so well trained. So many beautiful sets to destroy. Didn't even flinch. What about the Amashuga Queen? There's nothing to be sorry about. I'm getting you out of here, okay? Gonna get you back to your sister. Just make sure she hears about this. I really miss her. <laughs> <laughs> Let her know. Tell her very vivid details. Dozens of people die for us to get I back together. To Lots of police. <laughs> <laughs> How did he rig that? That was cool. Go get the family. I got this. Go! I, I keep getting worried she's gonna die. Me too. She said, I got this. You don't say, I got this. Jim oh fight. Wait. Ouch. Oh. Oh. Nice. There we go. There we go. Ouch. Oh. 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 He Man. killed buff Perry Nemiroff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Treadmill and Treadmill death. death. <laughs> oh. Hey! Oh! oh, oh, oh. Mind blowing. Just slide past her. Oh, he's shooting to slow himself down. Oh, yes. That was genius. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy killing you. Yeah. Get in line. <laughs> Oh! You must really care for this woman. Now you know how it feels to lose someone you love. Whoa. You trust me? Should I not? Oh! <laughs> 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 Oh, the old dumbbell toss. <laughs> right back into the Shut gym, right at the rack. <laughs> Kettlebell swing. I wouldn't even be like, do you trust me? I would just throw her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big boy saw ya. She had an axe on him. <laughs> oh, the big guys, you gotta put that like a 500 bullets in the big guys. Oh! Or just one headshot. Yeah, He's gotta there. gut him first. Wow, this is a terrifying action scene. <laughs> ah, it's like Lost World plus Mission Impossible. Oh, you got lucky. Now go down there and kill him. Jump down there. On my way. What do you mean Don't on my go way? Up. Kill, kill that him. man! Let's go. Or at least like throwing the knife at his head. Something. No. No, oh. that, that's what I was worried about right there. Damn it. He's way dead. Mm. Way dead. Yeah. I gotta 
Okay, stay with me, buddy. I got you. I got you. Yes! Oh, I liked him. Yeah. You must have the biggest headache right now. <laughs> it's pain. It's pain. <laughs> you know, it's, fun. it's like so sore. It's like, Everyone is in so much pain. Robbing head pain right now. <laughs> Nothing worse than a headache. Except a hold in the hand, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. Headache's pretty rough. <laughs> headache, headache would just slow you down even more. It's like, it really is. Hand might be distracting. Headache, you know. <laughs> <gasps> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no way. I even say hi. That was that was very awkward. Do you have any idea what he's done? <laughs> take, doesn't doesn't get a high. Take through the details. <laughs> he killed a man with a leg press machine to keep her alive. If that doesn't win you back. You're gonna push him. Oh. Dumbo. <laughs> Mulan, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Come on, man. you got to be smarter than that. He's been that his whole life. You should have seen that. Even I saw this coming. I've known you guys for 20 minutes. I mean, come on. Lifetime of this? Oh. The imagery, though. Maybe he just had enough. Oh, even now he could deliver cold and cool lines. Yeah, right? No. He's betrayed you. <laughs> <laughs> He's a traitor. Sorry. Benedict Arnold ain't coming back. Got a little piece of shit. Kind of kind of messed you up. Got a lot of people killed. Got no, you don't want to hear this. Should have been there for you, for him. You're right. I don't want to hear it. But do you want to hear about the moving train and the helicopter? And <laughs> I love this because it's the ultimate betrayal on both parties. Like, like what he did is unthinkable, but we're also like, he just did a lot. <laughs> 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 like, it's such a good conflict. Because I was deployed. Tyler, why didn't you stay? I had, had orders and... Bullshit. So I couldn't... No, why didn't you stay? I couldn't... I couldn't fix it. I couldn't fucking fix it. It's a great line. Mm -hmm. It's a very real line. And it's character. This whole, yeah, exactly. It's a summation. Yeah. I'm standing here and staring at my plane, but I can't get on it. Why don't you tell me where you are and we can finish what we started? Want to negotiate? I'm not coming to negotiate. <laughs> what did he say? I'm not coming to negotiate. <laughs> it's a straight up Stallone Arnold movie from the yeah. 80s. No, it, it, it 100% <laughs> is. It felt the same way about the first Just with better one. special effects. It's, just, it's like <laughs> modern, but with modern day sensibilities is how they do it. I love it. With like a John Wick sensibility and stuff. Or like, like, yeah, with the yeah. 87 North team and everything. Like, yeah. man, it's cool. But like both of these movies are. Exceptional action movies. Don't do this. Stay with her. Get them out. Open the door. She's got revenge too. She has revenge too. You could have let her revenge. Wow, that was a lot louder than I expected. Very intense. It's gonna be a little like, a little sniper, a little flare gun explosion. Ah, awesome. So sick. <laughs> that was yeah. so dope. <laughs> Damn, this is so cool. Woohoo! Oh no, where was he shot? Where was he shot? Ooh, gut shot? No, no, no. We need an extraction three. Don't give us another fake out death. No, oh, it's gonna end in a church. Symbolism. God. Fathers. Sons. <laughs> Original sin, guilt, architecture. <laughs> Rome. <laughs> Dust, dirt, decay. Come. Jesus. Sometimes there's a great sacrifice in enacting God's will. You're just a kid. Pull the trigger, consume yourself in a lifetime of guilt. 
He already lives that way. Come more to your remedy. Oh, he's gonna make up a shoot him. Who is gonna see my machine in Spain? What is? So do you. Yes. Well, you can exact retribution for your brother, but it will be at the cost of his life right now. How did he know they were brother and sister? Racist? <laughs> that racism comes in handy sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no! Oh, no! Oh! Beat his face to a pulp! Beat him to death! Beat him to death! Ouch! 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 Ouch. Stop, Stop that fighting! Is their f no, no. Don't like it all! Oh, the hardware store deaths! They should have finished building this church! <laughs> you have so much tetanus! <laughs> oh. Oh. The Home Depot pain is real. Please don't tell me there's a bunch of needles in his face. There must be something. It's gonna hurt to watch. Oh, man. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's a lot of weight. It's a lot of stuff on a chain. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Climb him. Yes. Chunk by chunk. Climb him. Like Everest. <laughs> oh. I have not. Stop. Just do one little shot to the head. Just there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I wanted. It's like exactly how I wanted it to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's perfect. How I imagined it at all. Oh, just a little, man. Just a little casual guy. Shot. Yeah. No. Please don't kill her. That's a death that would get me mad at movies. Right on time. The other authorities. Oh, I hope his ex comes in with like a bridal outfit. <laughs> They're in the right location, and she's ordained. Prison? I'm like, who's in prison? Why? Are they all in prison? What did I miss? I guess they did a lot of stuff in foreign soil. They get in prison for that shit? I mean, law? Order? Idris did say if he doesn't get out of there, it's on him. No law. But maybe Idris helps. That's right. We forgot what the big risk was the whole time. Prison. <laughs> His last image of you wasn't you walking out on him. It was you going off to save people. And he was so brave, Tyler, when it ended. He said, I want to be brave like that. Uh. That's how he saw you. Bye, Tyler. I wonder if we got a cameo in this prison. I feel a cameo. Don't you get a cameo sense coming? Like a big big end of movie cameo? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like a cameo is coming. Ryan Reynolds. It's always Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> I suspect someone else. No, it's Idris. Yeah, it's Idris. <laughs> Told you not to get caught. Shit happens, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what if I could get you out? How's that work? Come and do another job for us. Not without my team, I'm not leaving her behind. The whole team is here. <laughs> the two surviving <laughs> members. My name doesn't matter. No, it does. Mr. Nobody. Who I work for. Who's that? 
Naughty mother. Now we got a franchise set up. Yeah, we do. First one was a open ended. Now this is a we got a franchise. Yeah. Sweet digs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Joe Russo wrote this one. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. All right. Story by Joe and Anthony, produced by Joe and Anthony. Joe wrote it. All right, Coy, are you going to the bathroom or are we talking? I got this. Let's do it. We're talking. Let's talk. I say we talk. This is a really bright sweater. It is, and it looks great. I didn't realize how bright it was. I, I'm glad you noticed it. an hour and 48 <laughs> minutes in. Right. Now, um, yeah. Wow. What a what an experience. I mean, I feel like this is one of those movies that's made for reaction videos. I am so tense and sore and also emotionally sore and also I want to go fight things. All I, of them things. I don't remember the first one well enough to know if I like it more than the first one. I remember loving the first one, and I love this one, but I don't know which <laughs> one I love more. They're both coming from a place of love. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like this took it more in the direction that it probably wanted to be. I don't, I, okay. I, yeah, I, don't, I just don't remember the details enough of the first one. I remember honestly. David Harbour surprised me in the first one, and Idris Elba surprised me in this one. Well, okay, look, it goes without saying. The action is just as phenomenal as always. And I, my one concern was when we had such an epic one that, is this movie about to get, like, boring? Oh, sorry, I defended the casting for this, too. Hey! My, my one concern was, is this movie going to get boring? Like you After get, a one You get such a high from so early on in this movie. Yeah. And what is that? Like 20 minutes? It's like 20 minutes. It felt like it was 20 minutes long. At least. Uh, and and then I'm like, okay, is any other action set piece really good? And then it good? does. And then the action manages to become something that's more, um, they, they rely more on the emotional engagement while still having like great choreography and some cool gore. But you care about play. all these people. And not yeah. that we were mad at that kid. Like yeah. we were joking a lot, but we understood where he's coming from because of how good the writing was. Exactly. When you get to the whole building sequence, uh, yeah, you're on the edge like, okay, one of our characters is about to die. It's one of those, one of the brothers and sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Nick or Yaz. One of them is going to die right now. I don't know which one it's going to be, but one of them's dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like that had me on edge. And I think those sequences are great. The ending sequence is great. Uh, Nick and Yaz were so good in this one. I, I yeah. think it, this one might edge out just because we were already invested in the characters. We didn't have to build them up. So yeah. for me, I, I, I my instinct is I like this one a little bit more, but I need to rewatch the first one. But I do think instinctively, I think of Nick and Yaz as like so captivating in this one uh, like from the jump. But I think that's reliant on the first. So I, I don't know how. See, I barely remember them from the first one at all. All. At the beginning, I thought that, and then once we were in, I was like, "All oh, right, I remember loving them." But like, it definitely took me like the first two minutes of the movie, and like, right, that did not happen for me. Okay, I got was it. like, "Who are they? the guy?" I was like, "Is that? He's from the?" I kept going, "He's from the first one, right?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but I found myself endeared to them. Um, so yeah, the action's phenomenal. I think we've talked plenty about it. Too. I think we reviewed the action in the moment. <laughs> Every <laughs> moment of so we the don't movie. Really need to review the action, dude. A plus it, action. It, it is epic, and uh, the like. This is one of those action movies that if they ever released it on the big screen. I would love to like. Why, imagine if they they did IMAX conversion. For so this. sometimes imagine they that. play these at IPIC. It's a it's like a gourmet restaurant movie theater chain. You, and you get the word on those, and if you find out, you let me know. Because I want to see this like I would that to, way. I would love to see this specific movie on the big screen. It's like. As I love the John Wick action, that and because I that's the one thing about the wonder that I have to ask myself is, okay, is it only one of the best because it's a wonder, or does the choreography of itself compete uh, truly with the John Wick? Incredible, one? and that's what I mean. The choreography is pretty incredible, but I've seen like chapter four of John Wick twice, so I'm like, okay, it's gonna be some somewhere between John Wick. How and great that is it? 2023. I'm like, are the two of the best action movies of all time? Like in like yeah. really the same. <laughs> Like two months apart with some yes. of the same stunties. Like some of the same stunt people were in both. Well, you see, I my same my same like little gripe that I have with that I, I remembered having with the first one that I still think carries over here is uh, forgive me for being an asshole. What is the director's name? Sam Hargrave. Sam Hargrave. Beautiful damn, beard. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I see his face and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Sam Hargrave. 
Like, a phenomenal action director, obviously. No questions asked. Because even when there's action here, well, whenever there's action, it is it is emotionally engaging. Like, it is suspenseful. It's more than just cool. It there's a there's a there's a tension to it. I am gripped by the heart in the moment when it's happening. I still do think the scenes when there's not action need a little bit of work on being a little interesting. more interesting. Like, I have, yeah, I have the the opposite of this one. I I, every I know time, you do. I can tell that's our big difference. Yeah, because yeah. I'm I'm like anytime there's a slowdown, I'm like, okay, not only do I need this, but also I love these people. And then like the the beautiful moment at the end, like I almost cried. Like I I got emotional. I almost like, I was cried really that. I was yeah. real close. And it yeah, was earned. Like because like because they they didn't have her forgiveness. And I also like that like I I like that she didn't forgive him. Like I also like that yeah. she gave him the gift of forgive yourself. I can't forgive you. I still went through yeah. this. That's unforgivable for me, but I want you to live your life without that. Yo, dude, I love like, that. I'm 100% on the same page as you. The only, my little, when I say a little gripe, I mean a little gripe because I, it's so minor to the point where I love the action and I only like the scenes. <laughs> oh, I see you're saying. You're like, <laughs> yeah. just A to a B. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's, I don't love a lot of the scenes when there's not action. Like, I'm, I'm always, I'm not bored. I'm, I'm interested and I like the performers a lot. I feel like it's really elevated a lot by the performances. Yeah. And I don't even, I'm not even sure what it really needs to be. It's like, because the, both these movies have that thing where it's like, it's a very serious, somber, dramatic tone. And then, like, really cool action. But the action feels really supported because the scenes leading into it are really serious and somber. Yeah. So you need that. That way there's emotional heft and a thrust when there is the action. So that way you're pulled into it for for the character purposes. Like, I totally get the intention. I don't even know exactly what my wish is here <laughs> for it. I just know I'm not, like... I'm not in love with it. Like, whereas I can say that for like, I, I can be in love with scenes like mission impossible movies when there's no action or, or the John wick Understood. movies. I could be in love with those scenes and here. I'm like, yeah, this is about like by the numbers as it is well executed. <laughs> you know, See, for me, John wick one, two and four, I was invested in the non-action scenes, but I struggled with three and then it got me back in four. Yeah. Whereas this one, like, obviously we're just comparing cause it's the same year. But these two very stylized action things, I feel slightly more emotional connection, I think, to Extraction. I think the Chris Hemsworth character is more relatable. I also think he reminds me of what, like, a modern-day Martin Riggs would be, and I love the Lethal Weapon world. Like a, To me, he's like ways. Riggs, but in, like, if he'd stayed Special Forces, and I think that's an archetype I adore. And yeah. I love John Wick, but, like, there's something about the, the Tyler Rake archetype that I'm all in. Yeah, I like the way this movie decides to make an effort to, even for its follow-up, to still keep it a, a character-driven story within Tyler Rake. Because in that one, he's grieving, and now he's finding a reason to carry on. Yeah. And then the it's third about one, I, finding I, a resolution with his wife in some way. I hope he gets a, get, like a new reason to live in the next one where he like their closure. Kid, clone uh, his kid. Clone and his I hope the end of Extraction <laughs> becomes the three and it goes like, <laughs> and then there's three. <laughs> I hope they, they should just flip the E. Also do the E on also, Extraction. Like Eminem. Through Extraction. Subtraction. Through Extraction. Call it up Sam Hargrave. Yeah. What is your font? I don't care about the movie. <laughs> yeah. But no. I also love that the two brothers, uh, Zarab and David, are both played by guys named Tornike. Yeah. Well, I think I was also more endeared to the, and, and the first one I was more endeared to the whole, like, again, it's all tro it's all action trophy oh, shit. God. Like the father and son uh, dynamic in the first one. Uh, that's why I was like, oh, kind of, because they, they had the cliffhanger. But when, he, when, he, when he goes in and he goes, remember when he dives in and goes up at the end and then he sees like the obscure Tyler in the, in yeah, the back? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that's, yeah. I wanted to see what happened there. I did. And then we didn't get that. But I like the brothers here. I like the villains. As the villains? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I like the villains. I do. I think they're tied. Like, I, I can't pick one because that has been the four years, or whatever, since I've seen it. Well, I think aesthetically it's cool too because the first one is. Uh, where does that take place again? The first one? I don't remember. I don't know. It's hot and sweaty and icky. Yeah. And here it is like snowy landscape. Chilly. And shit. Next yeah, time chilly. he's got to go to a jungle for Predator 3. You got to do the jungle. Oh, next time. just green Tyler yeah. Rake well, doing I, jungle stuff. I think they use the environment really well. And I love how the deep, like the cinematography. Was, was, is, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember that correctly, Sam Harker's background, was he a cinematographer before? I believe so. I think he was also a stunt guy. I think he's got. I'm, yes. I think he's is got that. Is that what it is? Because <laughs> like him and David Leach are like these two epic yeah. stunties turned. If I remember correctly, he's also his stunt double. He had a. He, I remember he had a different. Like Hemsworth. He had a different profession prior to. I think he was Hemsworth's was stunt he Hemsworth's, double. Was that? And what that's it how is? they became friends. Just like David Leach was Brad Pitt's. I think. 
we got to this this stunt quick. man, actor and director, stunt coordinator. Yeah, I think he okay. was the stunty for uh for Thor in the beginning. Okay, that's what it was. He wasn't a um he, yeah. he wasn't a whatever. Not a DP. Yeah. But yeah, he was like a stunt coordinator and then Avengers Endgame and Deadpool he became the stunt coordinator that's from being was. a stunt yes. man. Yes. Okay. And he's an absolute boss. Uh that have been a couple of premieres, and he's always like so engaged in how people move. Like it's cool to see him look at a room because he's like tracking. There's the axis. Like he looks at a room and the and the way the you know like when you watch someone how like they turn left or right and then it, how it tracks forward. It's cool yeah. to watch people that are stunt people like also navigate like the distance between you and I. Yeah, like you can see him like coordinating and like choreographing in a room. Like I love watching stunt coordinators and the his directing is very much like z axis based. Yeah, because that's how he sees. Love this director. Yeah. Um, but no, I really like this movie. I think I like it more than the first one. Um, I, I, this is some of the best action ever. And I feel like the first one's still as big of a film as the first one is. I feel like it kind of got forgotten for how great of the action is in that movie. In my top, yeah. I think it was my top 10 in that year, but I haven't watched it since, which is like, you know, that's tricky. Yeah. But the, the action here, I feel like they really one up themselves. That was that only one. three years ago. Cause the wonder in the, in the first one was amazing. And then this one, cause yeah, obviously there's cuts and shit, but sure. the point is to, it's about the immersion experience, which it had. We looked, yeah. and we were still like, "Yeah, I we on, yelled for twenty five minutes." I was going to look at like, where was that cut exactly? How I, did they lock off so there, many scenes? But where was the cut there? There yeah. were train lock offs, helicopter lock offs, <laughs> chest lock off. Like, how did they do any of that? There was a fire punching sequence. Yeah. I think it's really great too, because Chris Hemsworth is like one of the only actors to have become famous via the MCU and has managed to find. Film, film work outside of the 100%. MCU. And he's got this extraction franchise, uh, which he excels in. He's, I'm he's, so he's happy absolutely for him. great in this role. Like, yeah. More than just the action scenes. Like, he really carries this performance. He might lot. be the most successful of the core. I think so. Outside out of, out of, of the ones who became famous through and then have, have managed to do stuff outside of it. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Because, like, uh, like, a lot of people have carried on as they were before the MCU. He's elevated his career. So, not to disparage anyone, but, like, Definitely. everyone else has have stayed at a level. He, like, used it in like, a really wonderful way. Like, he's got that nice middle ground where, yeah, you, you know him as Thor, but you don't only want to see him as Thor. And I'll go see yeah. a Chris Hemsworth movie. I don't exactly. necessarily feel that way about everyone. Yeah, and we will not specify who to be nice. Just saying Chris Hemsworth, I will see his movies. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> see. Also, Joe and Anthony Russo, I will see their movies. Uh, Sam Hargrave, I will see, like, there yeah. are certain... Like things that came out of the MCU that are now like diverging paths of excitement. Yeah, and I appreciate the extra effort that this franchise gives, specifically uh, this movie too, with having some more of its like religious undertones and having the whole for for a movie about a grieving father to be having this uh, generational trauma, cultural trauma as well. Yeah, to be plucked into here, I, I respect the fact that they actually make the concerted effort. Again, it's more like. Uh, yeah, I, I don't, I still don't quite know what, it, what it is. I could use a little bit more zest to it or something a little more unique in it. Cause it kind of, it kind of just does play by the numbers for me. It's like not, I, but yeah. it's one of the things I find charming about these two films is they're like an eighties, nineties action want. film, but I get I, what I like, want. I still feel like it could go a little bit of the extra mile to enhance the screenwriting a little it's bit. It's like four and a half <laughs> stars for me. I, I get what I want. I, I still, <laughs> ultimately I get what I want. That's the thing is like, I don't want to harp on it too much. I'm just, I'm harping on it only because I'm like, what am I looking for here? Uh, because yeah, at the end of the day, what I show up for more than delivers in ways that are beyond satisfactory. Like I, I would give this movie, I would still meet you at four and a half yeah. stars out of five. I would still totally meet you at. Four I think and a half. yeah, I think we're both. I think I'm just saying it in a, in a, an affirmative, and you're just saying in a looking for negative. I'm just saying like it's everything I want, and you're like it's everything I want, and like we're on the same page. But it's just like the one thing that would just spice it up a little bit more is just. What can we do with some of those uh, in between scenes? I almost cried. That's enough. I did I, all this action and I almost I cried. Four almost, and a half stars. That I did almost cry at that prison. At the, really at the got ending me. Scene. The forgiveness I, that she gives him. Whoo! Like I feel like it's gonna have that. You know what it was? That Idris Elba scene brought something different for me. Mm. You know, like having a little bit more of that variation. Yeah. Like Idris Elba, I think brings a lot of that. That little spice to oh, it. Oh, immediately. You know, and as and soon as you see him on the porch, you're like, this is gonna be good. Because it, there is sort of this like super song. Like both these movies have that, like just super somber series. But then he's just so cool. But, but to have a bit of that variation allows the somberness to even have more effect when you got a little bit more variety in your scenes. And I feel like Idris Elba brings that variety. Again, another very tropey character. Great. But that that <laughs> but throwing that into the mix allows for uh more of an emotional appeal for me. So, yeah, I'm excited for Idris Elba to be in here and to have further enhancement. Great music, great designs overall. 
Um, yeah, this movie more than delivered. Excellent action film. Bring on Extraction 3, please. Cannot wait. So glad I didn't watch the trailer. Idris was a great surprise. Very excited for Extraction 3. I was 3. so happy didn't watch the trailer. Same. So happy. Koi, I got to get you out of here. Yep. You got two minutes. So before we do, I just really want to quickly do a patron of the day shout out. Andrew Hayes. If I ever needed someone to help me extract someone from a prison, mm -hmm. it would be Andrew Hayes. Because the guy's like five foot one mm. and he's stocky and bulky mm. and he could be like beat up people, punch them in the knees and stuff. You can get him through vents, mm. go through crowds, crawl on through people's legs and that are spread open. If so, if he has to rescue a child, mm. he would be the perfect person to pull off the ultimate Tyler Straction experience. So, Andrew, my friend, we got to go out there and we got to save some lives. And by we, I mean, I show up to your door and be like, I'll split the profits with you. You get 30 percent. I get 70. Go in there, handle some business. And thank you for never pledging and never hitting us up on Patreon either. Don't know how much he thinks 5'1 is, but that's not knees. But I'm very confused by his height scale. 5'1 well, one. One will make it easier to duck in between people's there it is. knees. All right. Extract. Are you 5'1"? I'm five eight and a half, five nine. Someone a tall seemed thing. a little bit offended there. Hey, like as an under my, six footer, we got to defend our fellow under six seems footers. Like he's a little bit. Uh, There's just a catch all for under to six five footers. One and lies on his resume. Between seven <laughs> foot and five happening. one, I'm closer to five one. Respect. See you guys. <laughs>